Hello everyone, my name is Charlie, and this is Cardboard Town. I almost didn't uh, cover this, I almost didn't uh, make a video on this, because I'm not usually into games that rely on cards to, to play them. Like, you know, I don't know, like Slay the Spire kind of things, right? I, I don't normally go for those things, but this one had a city builder approach with it, and it was kind of looking like maybe... It could be interesting, so I gave it a shot, and then, well, three hours went by, and I had no idea, and I looked at the clock and went, oh, shit. <laughs> so when that happens, I, I, I say, okay, you know what? It deserves at least to have a video. If you're going to rob three hours of my life and I didn't even realize it, okay, you deserve a video. So this is Cardboard Town. We're going to hit play. Um, I've played this for a little while, like I said, about three, three, uh, three hours or so, and um, I've unlocked certain things. So now I can start with, like, Cursed Towns and Town Tannic and... Uh, you know, sandbox mode has been unlocked and all that stuff. But we're going to go with classic uh, because I think it's the, just the generally that's the better way to show the game. It's the mode that you'll be playing with uh, if you were to get the game yourself, which if you're interested, link in the description. It's a fun little game. Uh, it's all about getting the highest score possible. Uh, good luck. We're going to hit play. Let's share with you a bit how the game works. You're going to start with an assortment of cards in your hand, and I'm going to start with extra cards because, again, I've unlocked some bonuses from playing previously. So I have six cards in my hand here. And um, as I have this uh, town that's starting, there's a little build, there's a big building in the center, and everyone will start with this. But the things you place on the board are entirely dependent on the cards that, you, that you're dealt. I have 35 additional cards in my deck. I can see that deck at any time, although I can't see the order that they're in. So I know that I have certain rogues, road segment cards, and I got the trailer park, the power plants, stores, buildings, skyscrapers, all sorts of things. There's also a lot of other cards that let you manipulate your hand. So things like discard your hand, draw three cards, or you know you lose uh, two of a resource, but then you draw two cards. Uh, there's certain things where you can discard a card, but then your trouble meter goes up. At the top left, this is the trouble meter, and it is a, uh, it is a, it is it is a player in your game. It is against you, and uh, every every single day the trouble meter will go up by one, unless of course you mitigate it in some way. Uh, some cards will raise this meter for you. Some cards will reduce the meter for you, and um, every time the meter gets to certain points, certain bad things happen. So something will happen at three. Uh, I believe you just like you lose a random resource. Uh, if something will happen when it fills all the way up, you'll get a big disaster that will happen. And the disaster will affect how your game plays for an extended period of time. They're all temporary, but uh, they last a lot. Sometimes they can last like 12 days, 18 days, sometimes even. Um, and, and they'll do things like making all your stuff cost more or making it to where you can't play certain things. Or every time you do a certain action, something bad happens to you, right? So... There's lots of things that are going through there. Let's play, and then you'll see what I mean. So uh, at the at the bottom here is my my hand, and I've got lots of road uh, cards here, so I can extend my road network. I start with two gold, and that's or two money based on uh, my population, which two is the minimum. And as I raise my population, here's the top uh, top of uh, the screen here. As I raise my population, I will level up. I will get upgrades that will go on the left side of the screen to help me. Uh, so might mitigate some of the disasters in that way uh, so but this one costs nothing so let's go ahead and place this now we've got some forests on the map here and this is uh, you know kind of tied to my environment score top right of the screen are my resources water electricity safety and environment um and uh this contributes to my environment score a little bit so if, for example if i build something on a forest and destroy it i will lose some some environment i'm gonna go this way and i'm gonna use this road tool i think uh to go that direction uh, let's take my remaining money and go. How oh, which direction I want to go? I'll kind of wait away from the forest. I think is where I want to go. I'm gonna go uh, maybe over near the water because there's there is one building that uh, I hope I don't get that requires me to place it on the water, and so I'm I need to be over there if I'm gonna be able to use that building. Okay, next day. Now when I do that, the trouble meter goes up, and I draw a card. Now at the beginning, I get to choose these cards, but eventually. These things will just be shoved in my face. So I can choose to buy a house, a trailer park, or residence. Residence is going to be much better uh, in the long run, but it's going to take me a while to be able to use it. I think I've got enough cards here that are lower cost, so I can probably play for a while. So we're going to go ahead and grab the residence here. That's going to raise my population by 10 if I place it there. But there are certain things I can do to make this, to give this a bonus too. So we'll look at that when it's applicable. 
Um, also, just as a note, in case you're curious, there are these three little pips here. These are red alerts, and if you get three of them, you lose the game. You get a red alert for a variety of different tasks, uh, and I'll, I'll walk you through what one of them are in the uh, in the video here. Uh, but most of the time, you're going to highlight these red alerts by getting your resources in the negative. If any of your resources are negative, you get a red alert for each one. So you have to keep at least two of your resources positive at all times. Otherwise, you lose the game. Uh, there are also other things that can cause you to lose the game like uh, having any of your resources at negative 20. So don't do that. Let's place a house. We'll put a house down. Uh, I think right here on the corner should be okay. That's That seems pretty good. Uh, and that's the remainder of my money for the day, so I'll go next next day. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, I could do the bus stop for the bonus, but that also raises the trouble meter by three. I'm going to pass on that for now. Maybe we'll go with the industrial water well. That would be good. We get five extra water, but it's going to sacrifice one power and one environment. So it's not really the cleanest of water wells. Uh, we'll go ahead and go uh, take this road. We go, uh, yeah, go out this way. I, I could go out this way. Let's go out this way with this road. And then we have one more road segment left to place. We'll go out that way with it. All right, next day. So these are different types of cards. They don't play on the board directly. Instead, they manipulate my hand. So through power will allow me to have me lose two power, but I get to draw two cards. And then I flip a coin. If it's heads, I get one of my power back. It's not bad, uh, especially since I get two cards from it, which would be pretty good. Population boon, I get to generate cards. These are cards that are not in my deck. They just get created. I can generate a house and a residence in my hand. But by doing this, I raise my trouble meter by two. And then there's pay the way, discard a card, and generate three road cards. Simple, easy. Uh, I'm going to go with through power. I like it. It doesn't manipulate the uh, the meter. So uh, we'll go ahead and lose the two power and then hopefully get one back as we get the two cards. All right. So I drew two cards down here. We'll flip the coin and we get heads, which allows me to get one more, one of my power back. So that's good. It only cost me one. Uh, this one here is going to cost me three. Notice how there's a dollar cost on all these cards. That's why I'm not using all of them every turn because I only have two. Until they raise my population more, I'm stuck at two as my, as my limit. Now, houses, thankfully, are only two. They only cost two. So, uh, thankfully, we can make that work. I'm going to say this house goes... I'm trying to figure out like where I'm going to put my, my parks and stuff. And I think... I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to put this right here. So, if I, if I do get a park, I'm going to place, place it right here, I think. Um, all right. This is a free road. So, we're going to put that... Uh, we'll put that out. Uh, let's, let's bring it out that way. All right. Next thing is a fountain. It adds to my environment score, but it costs me water. It also generates a green area. People like to live near these fountains. And so because they like to live there, I will raise my population. You see how that works? I'm going to raise my population in those areas. Uh, I get a bonus to that, which is nice. Um, I'm going to place them, however, not over there. But instead, I'm going to try to place this in a position where I can use most of it, which I think this right here, if I can go one more tile over, that would be great. But I like to place these fountains at the ends of roads because then I can use it on the sides. If I place them right on the road, I kind of lose two tiles, which isn't a huge deal. I definitely wouldn't want to place this in the corner, right? You want to maximize the, the, the amount of green tiles you have because they're so incredibly valuable. Some buildings can only be placed on green tiles and so they're very valuable. I'm going to place it on the end of the street right here. So I, I, that's how I like to do it. Uh, all right, next here, uh, we have a wind turbine. It's pretty good. We don't have zero water yet, so we're not in a we're not in a super big pickle or anything. Let's take the uh and just add another house, I guess. Um if we do this, like I'm gonna have to get my park probably right here or right here with the road going this way, is probably what I'll do. And if I put the park here, that's let's just put the road route. I'll just put it right there. Okay, we leveled up. Our population exceeds 15, so now the next level is level 2, and we can level up again if we get to 35. We have our choice of an upgrade. We have play it safe. If we play four cards in a day, we reduce the trouble meter by one. And that's these these things are permanent. These upgrades are things that will carry, carry you through the rest of the game, okay? Uh, hydropower, whenever we place a building that costs uh, water, we gain a power. That's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. I always like the idea of having... Uh, the ability to passively generate some kind of research, a uh, resource. 
Uh, and then there's barefoot. Whenever you discard a road card, you gain a random resource. I'm not going to be discarding road cards. They're too good. Uh, at least in the beginning, for sure. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with Hydro Power. Seems like a good way to go. So now every time I play a card that costs water, like the Fire Station, for example, I'll gain one power for having placed that card. And because the turn, uh, because I leveled up and everything, I now have up to three, which allows me to play even more things, like the Water Tower, for example. Now, I like Water Towers because they don't have to be right on the road. So I can kind of place them wherever I want. And I tend to want to place them in places where I know I can't place any other building, which doesn't really, like, that's not really a thing yet. So I'll just place it next to a mountain. We'll see. All right. So uh, next thing to do is next day, uh, we got this meter filled all the way up. And we now get a random disaster. There are a lot of different, different disasters in the game. The one that just hit us is a communist strike. What does that do? At the start of the day, I have to discard my most expensive card. I then draw a new card in its place and I lose one gold. So that's no good. And this is going to last for eight days. Now, there is something I could do about this. If I click it, I can manage this disaster. I can have it cost me one officer. You have an officers up here, right? Um, I can have it cost me one officer. Or I can have it cost me one of every resource. But the thing is about this is that every time you use this mitigation tactic, it gets exponentially uh, more expensive as you go. So the next time I want to do this, it'll be three officers and three of every resource. Then it's five officers or seven of every resource. It gets more and more expensive every time you do this. So with these disasters, you kind of want to think about, okay, can I survive this? Can I deal with the fact that this is going to happen for eight days? It's going to, it's going to be done in eight days. I think I can handle that for now. So I'm just going to let that go. But there are certain ones that are really nasty that you will want to get rid of later. And then that's when you want to, you know, use that and have that available to you at a cheapest possible cost. All right. So the trailer park, uh, I can, I'm going to lose security for this, but I gain eight people. And if I place it in these green areas, I get more people. Yeah. And that's kind of why I like placing it in these bigger areas over here. Cause I get more advantage. I, I can use all of these tiles provided. Of course, I have got roads around it, right? So I'm going to eventually have to get roads around this. Um, so I could, I could do the population now, or I could do a pond. I've never placed a pond. Yeah, I've never placed the pond. It's four, so I can't place it right now. The trailer park is fine. I guess I'll just place this over here. I want to get people, so we'll go, uh, we'll go like this for now. We'll, we'll bring the trailer park over there. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and hit the next day from, the, from this point. All right. We draw two cards here. That's pretty interesting. Oh, right. I didn't draw two cards. I got rid of my most expensive one and I drew a new one, right? Exactly. Uh, so that's what's happening. Okay. Uh, no big deal. Cause the most expensive cards I have, I can't use anyway. So it's going to start discarding things like my residences and stuff though. And I don't know if I want that. Let's take outsource. Oh, I can't. Oh, all right. I lost a gold too. That is going to prevent me from playing any cards. Yeah. That's a, that's a, can I, can I survive that seven days? Yeah, maybe. There we go. All right, sweet. So uh, I now have a new quest. Reach 100 population is the new quest. Okay. So I've played enough cards. And so there it is. So I have the one star. Now I need to get to the two star. Get to 100 population. Okay. Free road tiles. Free road. We're going to go out this way. We'll work our way around this so that I have these tiles all available. I like that. And then for the house, I could just use it here now. I get five population for that right here. Hmm. I'm worried about like where my other parks and stuff are going to go, but this is okay. I think I, I think I like this. We're going to use the house here. Okay. So I reached 35 population. I have upgraded again. I have another level up. Let's take a look and see what our options are. Trash burner. Whenever we destroy a card, gain a power. Reparations. Whenever you flip a coin and get tails, you gain one power. So now if it get heads, something good happens. Usually it tails. Usually either nothing good happens. Like, you know, it's just kind of whatever, uh, or maybe you get a slight negative effect, but now we're also going to gain a water every time that happens. That's interesting. Uh, and then there's extreme capitalism. As long as your environment score is under negative 10, you have plus one max gold every turn. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, but I think I'm going to go with reparations here. I really don't want my environment score to go that low. 
Uh, th that's basically like, okay, I'm just going to accept that I have a red alert all the time is essentially what that is. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's take uh, New Day. We're still discarding cards. Crap. Uh, I want to generate a residence. I do have up to four, but I can't use up to four because of this uh, communist strike right now. So let's make a park. All right. Now the parks, this is what I was looking for over here. Is I wanted to make a park that I could, uh, you know, get the bonuses here. So if I put a road tile right here, I'd be able to put a park here and have bonuses to all of these buildings. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to make another green area. And I can't put this at the edge of a road. I, mean, I guess I can. I could put this over here at the edge of this road, but then you get into the weird situations where your roads are kind of doing strange things. And, um, nah, I think I'll just, I'll, I think I'll put it. Mm. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to do it here. Then I'm going to have to have another building behind this that can go in that too. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to avoid, uh, hitting the, the forest, but I have five environment scores. So maybe it's better to hit the forest. I think I'm going to destroy the forest. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna take out, we're gonna take out that forest. So we lose, we lose one environment score for doing that, but it lets me place my park next turn. I can place that. So I'm going to lose either the pond, which I really hope I don't lose or the residence or the industrial water, industrial water well. Okay. I lost the residence. Ah. All right. Here's something else that happens in the game. Red cards. Red cards are not good cards. Almost always a red card is not is something that you don't want. Almost always. Red cards also have additional conditions to them. There are two numbers on the card. There is the cost, which is what we, every card has, but then there's also this extra number. This is the number of turns you have to play that card. If you don't play that card by this time limit, the card disappears and turns into a red alert and then is locked as a red alert. So in a situation like that, let's say I, I had post office, but I didn't play it in time. I would now have a permanent red alert here and I can now only afford two more. So in normal games, you can have up to two resources that are negative because a negative resource gives you a red alert. Uh, but now if I do, if I misplay one of these, now I can only afford to have one of these in the negative territory. Otherwise I lose the game, right? So when you're picking these, you have to look and say, what can I play? The movie theater, for example, I'm going to cost me seven power. That's not a big deal. I get, I get population for this. That seems pretty good, but it's a seven cost card. Am I going to be able to get to the point where I can have a seven cost in 21 turns? Maybe, but I don't know that. Post office is better. In my opinion, it's a cheaper card. I have less turns to play it, but I only lose two power and I, all I have to do is make sure that I'm placing two different buildings this day and that's it. And, uh, from my experience, anyway, you really, only, you really only have to place one building before this. Cause I don't know if the text is wrong or something, but I only have to place one building. Um, and then there's this one recycling center, destroy all cards in your hand and draw three cards by destroy. It means it doesn't go in the discard pile. It disappears from the game. So you don't get it back. So I don't like this one. So we're going to do this. All right. So. We have six turns to play this. Otherwise, we get a, a big major red alert. Uh, I'm going to take the clinic. This is going to cost me three power. I'm going to gain security and an officer, which will be helpful later. There's also a blue area here for this. And uh, what this does is you can place buildings in here to reduce the, the counter down here. So clinics are generally good buildings. They help your community and they mitigate disasters a little bit more better, right? Is what that is. So if I was to, for example, place this right here, I'm in range of all of these buildings. And in so doing, I can get negative three to the disaster counter, which is pretty powerful. I'm going to place it here. So I get two. This also is going to let me place the park here later. Uh, and so that I can get the bonuses for population as well. So I can place the clinic like this. There we go. So the, the meter drops down in a couple spots there. Uh, and then we have basic needs, uh, generate coal power plant and water tower in your hand. Uh, yeah. Okay. We can do that this turn. It's fine. And then we'll flip the coin, we get tails. So that card gets destroyed. It gets ripped up. It doesn't go to discard. It gets ripped up and destroyed. Okay. What is it? Four turns left on this communist strike. I'm probably going to lose my pond, man. I should really play that next turn. If I don't, if I don't lose the pond, then I'm, I'm going to play it next turn. Okay. 
So the most expensive card now is the industrial water well and the pond. So I probably should play the pond. Oh, I can't because I, I, I keep forgetting that I have less than the, the maximum amount of money here. All right. So I guess this turn, since we're a little bit low on power, maybe we'll place the coal power plant. Now, of course, the coal power plant, nobody wants to live next to it. So it's going to be red. Uh, and I don't have roads. I guess I can. Okay. It says discard a card and generate three road cards. That's probably what I should do. Why don't we discard one of the coal power plants? We don't need both of them. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll generate red road cards so that I can move them over. All right, so let's move this like that. We'll get uh, this road tile move out like that. And now the coal power plant can go over here. Uh, and then with this road tile, we'll go uh, this way around. So we can start wrapping around that fountain. Uh, am I going to lose my pond? Please take this. <laughs> I took the pond. Shit. Uh, I did say I would do it, but, um, you know, it's four. I couldn't play it. It's four. Anyway, um, post office is only two. I have to place one building before I place that. So, um, I'm going to say, let's, let's do, out, let's do outsourcing today. We'll do this instead. Give me an extra card. So the water pumping station now can be the one that we discard because of the communists. Uh, we have a small trade as well. So we can discard a card and then draw one and advance the trouble meter by one by doing so. Um, I don't know if that's worth it. I think I'm going to pass on that. All right. Are you guys done striking? This is the last day of the strike. Okay. But now we also have bureaucratic disturbance. Your mayor button costs one more. I haven't actually used the mayor button yet, so that's not a big deal. This is the mayor button. We can pay gold to draw a card from our deck i haven't actually had to use that yet so that's fine i can definitely withstand that for 17 days if it becomes a real big burden though again we do have the power to get rid of it but every again every time we do this it will cost us more i have two officers now so that's not a big deal all right so this is the last uh, day for the communist strike we'll have uh, our prices and stuff returning to normal all all things can return to normal um and then the post office i can still place this today now when you place the red card in time as soon as you're done placing that red card in time, you get a uh, a festival of some kind. And so something positive will happen for us now. And uh, there's a business fair. Draw an additional card on, on the day start for four days. Okay, interesting. Discard your hand and draw four. Mm, I kind of like the ones I have, though. Savings awareness. Add two water supply cards to your deck and gain two power. We have negative power at the moment, and that's giving us a red alert. So I'm going to take this one. I think. I don't think drawing an additional card on, on the day starts going to matter. There is a maximum number of cards you can hold in your hand. And so if you start drawing cards and you already have the maximum, they're going to go immediately to your discard pile. So you kind of want to manage your hand a little bit there too. And um, I'm going to take this one. All right. So savings awareness. Very good. Awesome. Uh, next day, the communists are no longer striking. So that would be the last time that that happens. The last time we have uh, something get lost in there. Uh, and the last time we're, we start with less gold than we should. Uh, let's have a store as a small trade card to our deck as well. The store can help, uh, if I place it in this blue area, can help mitigate that bar. And I do want to do that. So we're going to place this here. And that is going to mitigate two points on the trouble meter. There we go. Draw a card. And now I've got my full... I got the full power of my uh, my bank account now. Let's place a park. And I can place this again right here is where I wanted to place it. So we'll do that. It's also because it's placing it in a blue tile as well. It's also going to mitigate that bar up there a little bit. So more population plus uh, plus mitigation on there. And then maybe we take, uh, let's generate those road tiles. I like that. I can't use it today. I got to wait. I got to wait a day to use it. Okay. All right, we got lose two power, but draw two cards. And then we gain it back if we uh, if we get heads on the flip. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to take the coal power plan, actually. Yeah. And we advance the trouble meter by one by doing this, which means we have a disaster tomorrow if I use this. Uh, I don't really want that. I don't really want that. Let's take another water tower. It's a safe thing to do. So water tower, I'll put it over here by this, uh, by the mountain again. Just stick it over here. There we go. 
So it's a chill little game. This does get crazy. It gets much more expensive. It gets much more crazy as things go. Uh, let me play on a little bit here, and then I'll sh bring you back in when these things are a little bit more advanced. I think you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I've played on a little bit in this little town, and I'm being presented with an upgrade as I've reached level five. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go with going slow. It's gonna say that I can't play more than three cards in a single day, but I gain plus two max, which means I'm gonna be able to place more expensive structures. I just can't place as many of them. And I think that's a little bit interesting because there's a lot, oftentimes I'll have buildings that are very expensive, but I can't place them. And if I could place them, well, I wouldn't have any money to place anything else anyway. So I kind of like this. Um, it's going to mean that I can't make as many roads in a day or something like that. Um, I, I think maybe there is a little bit of implications there, but ultimately having the gold raised, I think is going to be more beneficial to me. So I'm going to go with going slow. Now, I also have... Um, just place this trailer park. I actually don't want to place the trailer park because uh, currently my resources sit at 14 water, five power, negative four on safety, and I barely positive on environment. I did have to destroy a forest or something to continue on this way. Uh, for utilities, you can see that I've got a wind turbine right there. It looks pretty interesting. I've got a couple of solar panels over here and still have the, the water tanks and everything. Uh, one of the red cards I received is the parking structure. And uh, the parking structure is very cheap in that it doesn't really give you a whole lot of negatives, but it's very difficult to place because you have to have a road on all four sides of it. So it did determine how I make my roads and it did occupy a significant portion of space there, but that's a red card for you. I had to do it. So there it is. Uh, so if I go into trailer park here, I'm going to get eight more population, which is going to be good for the next you know, going towards the next level, but I'm also dropping even more security and I don't want to do that. The current red card I want to show you is the elementary school. This is going to cost me three water and three power, and it also will introduce a new resource, and that is education. We're going to go ahead and select that. And these buildings, these educational buildings, they have to be placed in a green area. And that's where I was saying green tiles are very... Uh, valuable. So I, I want to leave them open as long as I can for certain, you know, depending on what it is, uh, because you have to place them on green tiles. Uh, so I can place, uh, well, I'd love to place it back here and stuff, but I need more roads for that. I'm going to maybe angle it yeah, a little bit back here. So you only need half of it. You don't have to have the full thing on the green. So I can put like a little bit on the green like this and it will work. So let's get a new card for that. Now I have buildings that will generate education, and this also now counts as another resource I need to keep positive. So, and again, if this goes negative, I get a red alert, right? So there's something going on with that too. And now a lot of cards are going to be introduced into my deck that have to do with education. Uh, so in this one here, there's a high school. It's two by one. Uh, and then there's a, a preschool, which is very small. This one is going to give me more education though. So I like this every day education will drop. So you have to keep adding educational <laughs> stuff. It's kind of wild. Uh, there's a Tesla coil. I've never seen this one before. Gain plus one power for each Tesla coil you've built, but you lose security. I, I can't afford to lose security right now. University is massive. Jeez. So you add smart solutions to your deck on this. And that's for every five education score you have generate a random action card in your hand. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, I kind of want to place that now. I don't have a whole lot of power for that, but I do have a wind turbine. I could, I could do that. Let's, let's go to the university. This thing's interesting. Uh, okay, so I can't place anything yet. And if I want to do the trailer park, I can lose security some more, but I don't want to do that. So we'll go next day. Uh, I actually, I don't think education lowers every day. I think maybe that was one of those bad events that I had before. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with that. It does say at eight education here. Maybe it's every other day or something. Anyway, new disaster, thunder craze. Whenever you play a card that costs six gold or more, lose power. Okay. You jerk. Because the wind turbine, <laughs> it uh, costs six. What a jerk. So we'll put another wind turbine uh, over here like that. It of course, costs six, so whatever. I'll flip a coin and get that power back. 
um even though i was supposed to have extra and then yeah i think the next time we'll go in for the university i want to see how that goes so the university is I, it will cause me to have two resources in the negative, which I'm a little bit shy on. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to hit the, hit my mare button this turn. Uh, it's going to give me a road. Well, it could be worse. Uh, uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to keep this area back here for like utility type stuff. I think that's probably a good idea. And then how do I want to approach this for I think I want to go back like this with this road so I can use this bit. I want to add, add the road go to about here and then I can add a building back here behind this park so I can take advantage of the green tiles. Cause there's a, uh, there's green tiles back here. I want to take advantage of those. Uh, but I don't want to do it with the trailer park cause it's again, it's, it's going to reduce my security. Uh, the water pump's okay, but I don't need water at the moment. So you, I'm, I'm in this dilemma right now where I, I can't really play every card is, is hitting my security i don't like that america boss uh i play a card that costs more lose one power mm. i haven't uh i haven't mitigated anything yet so I, I can i have flexibility with that i can i can deal with the whole like lose a power for playing expensive cards things but it just means i have to go really cheap for a while this doesn't this is going to take my power anyway though I need security though. I think I'm willing to sacrifice a little power for security. We're going to go police station, which has that blue area around there and we can place things in there. Uh, I can actually put you right here. I like that. We're going to put this building like this right here on there. That'll mitigate the bar by two. This is a condo. So nobody wants to live here anyway. So police station here is fine. And then uh, tra again, trailer park is just going to reduce security. Nothing. I don't have anything in my hand that raises security. And that's kind of what I'm looking for is something that raises it. The store is nice. Um, we can get more population with that, but I don't really want to occupy all the green tiles. I think we'll put it right here. Uh, maybe one over. No, I want the road to go there and then back around. So we're going to put this right here. And the next time I get a road, I'll, I'll place this over and around because this is all red on this side. So I don't want to do anything. I, I tend to group my reds together. Uh, I think that's a good way to do it. You see, so you, you group all your red stuff together. Uh, this stuff here, this is a big old mining operation. I was forced to place red card, right? So I put this over here and then I've, I've got the, another industrial water pump right here, which also creates red. So you can place those things in there. Uh, this is not, this is a condo, but there's a gap between the red producing buildings and the red producing building. So this is not in a red building, but it's generating red in the same tiles that were already red. If that makes sense, it's better that way. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to take a hit on security here, man. Give me a car that's got security. Uh, park is good. All right. So another red card is needed. Uh, let's see. Furniture factory. That's going to introduce another resource. And that is uh, industri industry or oil. I, I was calling it oil because most of the buildings I had in the last playthrough was oil, like oil wells and stuff. So kind of looked like an oil drop but it's actually an industry is the resource the resource name uh this would cost me power cost me environment if i place this building i lose i immediately lose <laughs> i'll have three resources in the in the in the negative so i can't do that um this doesn't put me in the negative but i have to spend two of my security officers to place this building that's gross maybe i can do better with power we have 21 days to place this movie theater. I'm going to do it. If we can raise our power in that amount of time, which I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Negative power, negative power, negative power. <laughs> Lose two power, draw two cards, flip a coin, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I need the cards, but I can do this without costing me power. So I probably should just do that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting here for cards. Like I'm, I'm hurting for something that I can actually do with this. Uh, this forest is nice. So forests are nice because they're not parks. They can be placed anywhere. You don't have to put them on the roads. There are these forests here, but the ones that come with the map don't give you the green benefit. I kind of wish they did because there's no real difference between them, but you can place these forests anywhere you want. And so um, like I can place it over in these gaps and stuff where I, 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 can't, uh, I can't build here and I'm not gonna build anything else here. So I can put this here and then I have the green tiles on that side. 
right? I can kind of do something like this, maybe mitigate some of that orange or some of that red, right? So there's, there's ways to make this work. Uh, I'm thinking probably, you know, I put right up against this, this mountain here. I like it. We'll put it right up against the mountain. That way when the, when the road goes this way, we can place things next to it. And then this is a park. Of course, this will add green as well, but it has to be placed on a road. And uh, we can place this maybe over here and that mitigates a little bit too. I like it. But it also means I can't bring the road this way, which is less than like it. I don't I don't like that part. Um, okay, so this is interesting, um, I think as an idea. So um, this area here is very hard to build in because the forests are there. And I don't want to tear it down and lose the environment score, but placing the park gives me the environment score. So what I could do here is just place something that was already going to be placed anyway in this exact same spot, but now it gives me benefits. It gives me two population and now I can build around it and get the, get the bonuses. And I don't lose any environment because I'm gaining an environment by placing the building. So I think I'm going to do that instead. It just changes. It's, it becomes this instead of this, right? And then the forest I placed looks exactly like the other forests, but it provides bonuses. Which is again a little weird that the other ones don't but it's fine okay now there's no the road um, I'm gonna put the road here so I can start maybe occupying this space over here and then I, I'm gonna have to hit the security I'm gonna have to hit my security oh another disaster hits uh, toxic chemicals when you place a building that reduces environment you lose population too ah <sighs> okay 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 so uh yeah, I gotta gotta keep track of my environment here. The the pond will work to raise environment, and the pond also grants you know green spaces, which are great. Uh, I think I'm gonna place them. Uh, this helps the environment, so I I think I can actually place the pond here and have it be. You know, I can replace the the forest that's there. I'm trying to avoid hitting the forest if I can't help it, but um, I definitely want to have this uh, this green space here. And I'm thinking eh, I can get plus four on that by placing it down. That just makes this area. I, I want this open as a, as a two by two, because there's other buildings and stuff to place that can work there. And you only need to tag up on one of them. So uh, I think it's a library is what I'm thinking of. Uh, so if I need a lot of education, that's one way to do it. Um, let's say, how about I build this here? I guess. Yeah. We'll build it there. So it hurts my security again, somehow uh, making a pond hurt security, but it helps my environment score. So that's fine. Uh, and then um, and pretty much everything I have is going to harm my security score. And I, but I need that population. So uh, yeah, so you place, don't just don't place anything that reduces the um, environment score. And I think we're going to be all right. So I can place this over Let's say here, this is on the edge there. It reduces security some more, but I'm going to get that population. Wow. They're hitting me with another red card already. I haven't even placed this one yet. Uh, okay. So sketchy pawn shop would reduce security further. Uh, recycling center it hits environment. So that would also hit me in other ways with the population. Same thing with this. So. Yeah, I guess we're going sketchy pawn shop. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose uh, any people if I can help it. Um, so I went ahead and I replaced this forest with another park, which it was net neutral as far as the environment score goes, but it now gives me those bonuses. Uh, and then I'm going to place this. I think this road goes this way or we can have this road go out this way. Yeah, I kind of I want the road to come out this way, too. So uh, I wish I could see the bonuses while I had the road tool. I guess I have to do this. So I could make the road come this way, have access to these tiles, or this one gives me access to. I think that's how I want to play this. I got these blue tiles here too, and I want to be able to use them. So if I if I place this here, for example, skyscraper right here, with the road that heads this way, that would probably work. So I have to get the road to come out this way first. And I guess I could actually place the skyscraper in this green area. I get 36! Whoa, hey, look at that, 36 people. That levels me up, I'm in. Let's do it. Uh, trash burner, whenever you destroy a card, gain a power. That's pretty good, but I don't destroy many cards. 
increase the cost of your mirror button is, is okay, I guess. Uh, long way to go. When your hand is empty for the first time in a day, generate two road cards. That's useless. Uh, okay, we're going to reduce the cost of my mirror button, I guess. So I can draw cards whenever I want for less money. I guess that's a thing now. Uh, fire station will improve security. We, we definitely want to place this. This is also going to mitigate the, the disaster bar over there too. So uh, wherever we can place this, we should. And I could do it here, but then I can't get the road back there. I want to get the road back there. Let's put the fire station. Uh, fire station, where are you going, man? Where are you going? I don't want to place it here. I, I do want to get the benefits of placing this next to a building and reducing the, the counter, but... This is the thing is that that's blocking. It also does more than I need, but it's it's blocking some stuff. I don't want to block it. I guess I could try this. I could try this. This is okay. It's only one, but it it's fine. Reduce it by one. Uh, and then movie theater, we still have 14 turns on. I don't want to go negative with power if I can help it, but I haven't had any power generating buildings presented to me every building that i've had presented to me takes power away so it's gonna be one of those things let's take uh, the water tower we could place that this turn that's easy and then wish upon a star reroll the current star quest and get a new one and then gain two goals so the current star quest is to play seven cards in a single day which is impossible because of my other thing so yeah i kind of want to reroll that <laughs> get to 250 population that's way better <laughs> that's way better good 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 all right uh sketchy pawn shop i think i'm placed in this now but that puts me at two red alerts i don't think there's anything i can do about this i have no solution for power none whatsoever but i, I get the population up i guess that's the only thing i can do really is raise population i'm gonna put you on this side yeah, like, yeah, I guess I put, put you on this side. So at 245, we need to get to 250. And uh, that'll hopefully be the next car. We'll place the, the mayor thing. Here we go. So you can place a house in here somewhere. This seems fine. That puts me over 250. That gives me uh, the three stars. And now I want to have a resource, any resource above 30. Okay, so you can see also, I'm, I'm actually about to get another red alert anyway. Because the... Uh, education resource is now zero so if it drops again negative i get that second red alert so i'm gonna try to mitigate that a little bit by hitting the high school and we're gonna put the high school right here i guess i get no ad i didn't get no additional population for doing this but it's fine i guess i'd love to place this in a if i if i place this here then these back three tiles are just useless Right, like I don't want to, I don't want to waste them. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna place it here. It has to be placed in a in a green zone. So we're gonna do that. That gets me the education resource, but now I'm down in power, which is a bad thing. I don't want to be down in power. I'll take this road. I'm gonna do this with this road so I can get it back there. I can start working in this little area here. Um, we have some houses. I'm gonna try not to place these. Yeah, we kind of want to mitigate this a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna place it here so I can get rid of one of the things on the counter there. And then maybe I can even place another one down right here. That gets rid of the counter even further. I like that. Let's just do that. And then this road tile. Uh, I can't I can't do it. Oh, I've already placed three cards this turn. Right, that limitation. At least I can draw. Discard your hand and draw three cards. I, I'd love it. I have all these red ones I'd love to get rid of, but unfortunately you can't get, you can't discard the red ones. And there's even more red ones. Man, I really need to start placing these red ones. All of these take power away. Every single one. Wow, wow, wow. The Doomsday Bunker at least gives me the security. So when it dips me below power, at least I, I gain the security. I'll do that one. Uh, okay, so how do I want to approach this? Every single card here takes power away, and that's what I've been trying to avoid. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, <laughs> I have no idea what to do here. I'm probably going to lose because of the power at this point. But uh, we'll take the... There's only three days left on this on this thing, so I have to do this. Uh, and not, not today, but I mean, I have to do it at least at some point. 
we're gonna put it over here uh it, it's gonna reduce my power to, to negative one which is gonna of course make me two red alerts right now as long as i can keep the other stats up i guess we're fine we'll draw a card and uh we oktoberfest will reset the meter to zero which is good we can also remove a random negative condition and that sounds like a good thing too um I especially don't like this one but the meter here is going to fill up faster than like this thing can expire in five days but then this thing's going to come in and hit me at three days so if i get rid of this then i can wait this out anyway yeah i'm just gonna, i'm just gonna hit oktoberfest here i think just get rid of that down uh okay so i have two red alerts which means i cannot have any other resource fall into the negative but you know, I can, if I can raise security or I can raise power, I can't raise power. There's no power here, but if I can find a way to raise power at some point, uh, that would be great. Let's put this road back here. And now I can manage this stuff over here. There's a residence for plus 10, but I can also make it significantly more than that. Like plus 16, or I can do plus 13 back here. Ooh, I like this. This is good. This will work really well. Yep. Right there. And then this is just utilities. I'll put more solar panels back here, towers, uh, the stuff, etc. You can put all that stuff back here. It's fine. And this, this area will be the same reason or the same thing. And so I want to start using this area if I can eventually. Okay. The game has blessed me with a coal power plant card. <laughs> oh, all long hail, all hail the, the coal power plant. Yes. Now we can place it over in any of these locations, but, um, you know, obviously we don't want to hit the utilities for that like I want to put it back here a little bit more so I'd love to use this road uh but it's too long yeah I need it only one tile long to, to get the coal power plant in there um I could put it right here that wouldn't be a half bad idea putting it right here um I, I could also just stick in here and, and just say you know what it mitigates a whole lot of red that it could have we just sacrifice two people for this so I guess that's fine we'll put it there but that brings my power out of the negative territory which is what i needed to have happen like really badly um all right, all right these red cards i got nine turns to play this one and nine turns to play this one for a huge hit to power <laughs> like a ridiculous hit to power here so um i need all the cards i can have if i look at my deck are there any cards that give power like none of them do i'm never gonna have a card again that gets power not until this gets shuffled back in I need those wind turbines and stuff to get back, man. Maybe we'll just discard the hand and draw three cards. I kind of like that, honestly. Let's just use the road while we have it. Um, we'll put it right here. And then... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. Let's just discard the hand. Now, it won't get rid of the red ones, but... I'm just trying to... F I'm trying to get empty my deck, basically, to get the power generators back in, so... I need to draw as many cards as I can to have that happen, but I can't do, I can't play anything because of snail. So just draw as many cards as I can every turn, I guess. Uh, let's draw two more cards. That's one, two, uh, water tower. I guess that's something I can place. Sure. We'll go back and place it back here. That's okay. Uh, road tiles. We can extend this by one. That's what I wanted before. Small trade, discard. Yeah, we're going to discard, do, do this right here. Oh, I can't play it because of Snail. <laughs> snail is going to hit me every... I'm, I'm noticing Snail definitely hitting me a lot here. Um, maybe that wasn't the best play. I figured I was going to be playing more expensive uh, buildings and such, but that's just not the case. Um, okay, so high school is not a bad pick. Another high school. It's still power. I think I'd rather do military school. But I, I need uh, I need my uh, cost to go down on that if I can. Smart solutions for every five score you have, generate a random action card in your hand. So I just need to have a lot of education for that one to be worth it. Yeah, I mean we have to play one of these shit. Um, negative power is bad, but I don't have a choice. So we're gonna have two resources negative, and that's just the way it is. Uh, we can gain 11 population if by putting this in here. And I probably will do that. Probably, probably will use that bonus to get even more population out of this. 
yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, draw an additional four cards to start. Uh, draw an additional card on the day start every four uh, for the next four days. I can't read. Um, eh, draw this card a card. Draw two cards. Yeah, I mean, gaining... So, the Hippie Festival is cool because you gain two people passively for 14 days, but as soon as the disaster happens, it ends. And it's only two days away, so I'm not going to get much out of that. Um, so, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with better adaptation so that I can have a better time discarding and, and, and know what I'm discarding. Um, do I want to go back like that? Or go straight this way? I feel like straight this way is going to be more beneficial. I wish I really wish I could see the, uh, I won't let me, it won't let me see it. I want to see the lines of where all the green is, but it won't let me do that. Let's get rid of nothing. We're just going to make, we're going to make roads. We're going to go this way with a road. So I just had a disaster hit, uh, and I have to pick another red card. Uh, the disaster is that I'm out of asphalt, and so I will not be able to build any roads if they cost zero. Uh, so all the only roads I can use are things that cost something. That sucks. <laughs> um, Internal Revenue Service, uh, Revenue Service Office, sorry, is interesting, but I have to spend officers to place it. It doesn't reduce... I can't place the junkyard, because if I do that, I lose. Uh, and then I can't place Statue of Solitude, because it, it has to be the only card in your hand in order to play it. So... That's not happening. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to choose this one. There's no other way around that. So I've got this road that costs three and I think I will go ahead and put this, uh, let's put this back here like this. And then I can trade out something else. Uh, this one is going to hit my environment score. Uh, I'm actually really struggling here. Like this, this is not a good run. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Um, if I hit this to draw another card, it's going to just get discarded anyway. There's, there's too many cards in here. Let's discard and draw two. We're going to discard this one, I think. Let's just swap that out. Better adaptation. Okay, so this is, you get the exact same thing. Another military school. Well, okay, that's I'm going to go ahead and discard a military school. And there it is. Oh, finally. But now I have things that make me lose power anyway. <laughs> I get to draw two cards if I do that though. Um Yeah. Alright, but I'm I'm out of uh I'm out of actions this turn, so. Uh okay. So I'm thinking we have to place the furniture factory. If we don't, then we lose. Right? It's it's gonna give me another red alert and lock it. So uh we will lose. So I must place this building. And uh it looks like it has to be placed over a forest. It has to displace a forest. Yikes. <laughs> it has to okay well uh, if i can get a road out this way i'll place it over here i guess but i need to get a road here first yeah i'm kind of stuck here uh I, i'm kind of stuck i'm almost leveled up maybe that would help me but um i'm kind of stuck here so i i need roads but i can't draw any more cards because i have too many in my hand so i've got to do something to get rid of the cards and so i guess that means uh, furniture factory. Uh, I don't see a forest other than this one, and I really don't want to displace that one. So it's going to have to be this one, and I need a road for that. Um, every, every Maybe I'll just do this. Like, I could just play these chain education ones. Get rid of them. I guess that's how, we'll, how we'll do it. There it is. There's a road. Uh, and then this road is going to go... Uh, I don't want to displace the forest with the road. I need to do it with that building. So we'll go out like this i guess yeah okay good another road perfect um now i can take oh i'm at my maximum amount of cards today aren't i sheet i am all right so now forest i have two turns to place this we're gonna do this here obviously that reduces a lot of things <laughs> it's gonna make me basically lose if i take one more hit to forest i'm, I'm done uh but it has also introduced a new resource now again so we have uh, industry now and uh, industry needs to, of course, it's just another resource you have to keep positive. So, uh, yeah, water bottle. If played or discarded, gain power, or sorry, gain gold. If destroyed, gain two water. No, the, this is, I have to take this. It's power. I have to have power. But the thing is, if I place this, it will reduce my environment score and then I'll lose. <laughs> so there's nothing I can do. Gas station it is. I don't, I don't have a choice. 
Yeah, this is good. Monument Park would be great to have. I don't have enough gold to place it, but I mean, I'm going to take it anyway. All right. So this, go this, this road will send it up that way. And then, I mean, it might as well, right? Whatever. <laughs> I might as well. Negative 12 on the power, but I have extra cards. And then this is all I have. And I, I can't do anything. We're not going to be able to get any new cards until I play stuff. So discard your hand, draw three cards. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I don't have... I need it. I need power generating things. Oh, look at this. Whoops. Chemical spill. Lose 12 population uh, and environment, but gain oil. Wow. That's a crazy card. We don't want that. Skyscraper. Negative power. Might as well get that 36 people out of it. Choose the upgrade. Okay. So at the moment, if we were to end the day, we lose because education just went negative. So if there's no way to get education, I lose. And I think that's probably the way that's going. Because uh, I added too many people and the education score drops when you add people. So, um, or add too many people. So whenever you gain this, you gain this. That would have been nice, but whatever. Uh, whenever you destroy a card, gain power. That's not going to help me enough. As long as you're... Uh, not, none of these are going to help me. I think that's, that's the game right there. I, none of these are going to help me here. Uh, yeah nothing nothing helps i i get nothing in here is going to help my education score so you know the only thing i can do is just add people but that, that's it i can't do anything else so this is what i mean by there's a challenge to this game there there's seriously some challenge that goes into this and uh that's it that's game so uh yeah i mean when i went a lot further before uh i've gone into i've had as high as level i want to say i was level 10 yeah I went as high as level 10 and um, that's when you get those gold or those gold looking cards. And I had like, again, I had like a, a, a rocket launch pad and stuff that I had to start setting up. But uh, yeah, and every time you go through it, kind of like a road light thing, every time you go through it, you unlock different things that you can do. So I could start one with rural town now if I wanted to, uh, or there's a new upgrade trouble specialist. Whenever you reduce the trouble meter to zero, you gain one random resource. That's pretty interesting. Um, incinerate that's another good one uh you can destroy two cards boom and if you have a bonus that says you have to destroy cards and whatever then you can you can play destroy if you if you really want to but uh yeah that's it that's cardboard town uh it's it's different right it's uh good for a casual play it's good for quick sessions right it's like that it's got that roguelike feel where if you're like i only have 45 minutes to play a game you could you could potentially you know go through it in 45 minutes if you want to or if you're really good at it maybe it'll take a couple hours but you can really build it out and it definitely gets progressively more and more challenging especially if your deck and the cards that you have in your hand just are not cooperating with you so anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed that you can check out more information about it the link in the description my name is charlie thanks for watching we'll see you Bye bye